Thanks again for tuning back into the channel. Now, I know I don't normally put out two videos in one week, but with this new feature, or should I say this updated feature in Photoshop Beta, which is the masking. The masking has really excelled. And as you can tell, I'm probably really excited about this. And that is for a few reasons. Now, it's not perfect, but it is so much more refined that perhaps if you struggle with masking, this will make your job a lot easier. So I'm just going to dive straight in, show you these examples as they happened, so you'll see how long everything takes, and then I'll catch you at the end of the video. Before we start, I want to show you how to set up Photoshop Beta to get the best results. So if you get into Edit, Preferences and go down to Image Processing. Now, as you can see here, we have Select Subject and Remove Background, Cloud Detail Results or Device Quicker Results. Select Cloud Detail Device and then everything else is in here. You can go in and you can go in Selection Processing More Stable, Remove Tool Processing More Stable and enhance detail processing more stable and click OK. OK, let's start with the cover image and the thumbnail for here. As you can see, this is it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, the bubbles. The... In total, this took around about 10 minutes to put together, but that's just because of all the decision making. When it came to the actual masking itself, it took seconds and it is seriously clean if i zoom in here you can see these edges and i did use select and mask and decontaminate colors but you can see how clean this actually is for and i'm not sweeping past anything i'm just showing you as it fell together shall we say so you see something there that i could take out Areas up here look okay. Over here, yes, you can see in here. I would have to go in and clean this up uh, just to get the effect I'm finally wanting for the image. And I can go in and clean up this mask of the Kingfisher as well. So I'll just click that and let's just take it out just to let you see. I don't even have to clean it up. That's the actual image. You can see that that has worked really, really well. It's not a finished image by any means, but it works okay for the purposes of this. So let me show you with the selection process of this. This is how quick it is. Right, remember this is Photoshop Beta. And we are going to go in here and we are going to look at two different ways. Select Subject. Look how clean that is. This is, it's just phenomenal. I'm not going to label the point, but it's just, it's picked up everything that I need. Let's go in and go in here. Select and mask, right? So as you can see the edges there, and let's just zoom in. Really, really clean edges. Let's decontaminate the colors. There you go. I don't even have to adjust. We'll just put a smart radius in just to see. Nope, nothing in there. And I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to create a mask on a new layer for me. I will go up in here. I don't just drag any background in at all. Command or Control and Zero. And let's place that just in there. Let's scale it up just so that it fills the page. There you go. Look how clean that is. So let's see how it deals with the cub. Uh, select subject because we've got lots of fine whiskers and fur here. That looks okay. Let's go in and select and mask. Right, let's go into decontaminate colors and see if that makes a difference around some of the whiskers. And that made a massive difference. You can see that there. That made a massive difference. I'm just going to leave it at that and click OK. 
and then I'm going to drop a background in. The background doesn't do this justice, but let's find another background just to see if there's anything there whatsoever. Let's bring in that as a background. Again, too small, let's scale it up. And then just click done here. F, F. So that's us in full screen. Look at that. Really excited about this, as if you couldn't tell. Very, very impressive from Adobe. And this means if this is in the beta version, they're still perfecting it, ironing out any bugs that it may have or it potentially may have. And this is really, really impressive. If you can do all my edits without leaving a software and have all the plugins in there as well, that's also going to save a lot of time. Let's see how it deals with this hair here, just to see how it's going to respond to select subject. Let's go in and refine it. Let's go in here, select mask. Decontaminate. Wow. The time that this is going to save for lots and lots of people. Another Adobe stock image, select subject let's see what it does with this because of the fur around here nice selection again let's go in and select the mask it's against the red let's just change that to green just to see if that makes a massive difference and then you can see the pinks in here the reflected color from it oh let's go into decontaminate colors now you can see that the pinks around that so one way that we can deal with that is through adjust colors and this again it's simply an adjustment layer it's a hue saturation adjustment layer now i so i can go in and i can find that color there and i can desaturate it knowing that that will affect the skin as well so you can see it looks frozen now i I'll just reset that or I can take the hand and I can go over and adjust it that way which again is going to affect his face so what we can then do because it's created a mask in here I can just take the brush black paint the color back in now do this very quickly and mostly we won't take any more of your time you get the idea with this and then again, let's just drop a different background in, drop that in, put that in there, take it behind him. And there you go. Takes longer to explain it than it does to actually do it. That's how quick this is. Hopefully you get something from that and hopefully it just lets you see how good it is. Now it isn't perfect. And because that's the beta version, so by the time it rolls out into the normal version of Photoshop, it'll be refined slightly. Uh, all the bugs will be sorted out, any flaws within it. But at the moment, look how good it's been, even with these test images that I've just tried it with. I'm really excited to see if it gets any better. But even if it doesn't, at the moment, that is really going to speed up workflows and allow you to spend more time refining your images and less time worrying about the masks and perfecting them. Thanks again for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video, which will be in two weeks' time.